hey what's going on to you aries out there so again y'all gave me the most views so y'all get the first uh reading of the batch so we're gonna essentially continue to do this until someone or if someone can knock you off your throne right now so look aries you have the eight of swords the emperor there's so much stuff going on son <laughs> you have the eight of swords the emperor let me let me close the line you know it'll kind of cover out some sound but the eight of swords and the emperor right here the emperor represents you aries and the eight of the eight of swords represents walking away so the four of pentacles is you being very much so focused on that decision right follow through being able to actually live with your decisions um okay being able to live with your decisions of walking away from some people you know obviously we all have regrets we all wish that we didn't necessarily do certain things or never started but a lot of you aries are learning to um think before you basically think before you do something um a lot of you aries are learning how to be a lot more patient um, you know, I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again, you know, Aries, y'all are a zodiac sign where, um, full speed ahead in the sense that when you Aries want something, you want something right now. And, and especially it, it's, it sucks when you are right, right there towards actually getting what it is that you wanted for such a long time. And then it's like, and then, and then Saturn slows you down right Saturn is like wait 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 you gotta slow down now it's like now I gotta slow down okay now I gotta wait right while everything looked like it was full speed ahead and it's the same way when it comes to your your luck in relationships you had to it seemed like everything seemed to be so well at first right you speak to somebody the two of you have common interests and then it seems like the slowdown is now it's like they go missing, <laughs> right? You know, they go MIA, right? You can't even reach them now. Now it's like, well, what exactly is going on? Or maybe they turn the corner and they show you that they're dysfunctional, right? When they put themselves out to be amazing at first and all they need to do is just be lions. But at the same time, you Aries have to understand that they're not lions. And this is part of why it is that a lot of you Aries have learned to become much better at being able to walk away and being okay with that decision. Not just walking away, but the emperor being able to be a lot more uh, patient, understanding that, you know, patience really is a skill. It, can, it really does help you if you allow it to. Um, and, and like I said, I understand that waiting you don't want to wait, especially when it looks like you're about to get someone, right? Or when you're about to come through with a, a, a big, your, your next big deal or a brand new, you know, job promotion or whatever it is that you are excited about. You don't necessarily want to wait, but you have to learn to essentially wait. And that the more moderate you start off at first is the better it becomes overall. The faster you start off, right the faster you start off is is the faster you are to essentially burn off energy a lot of the times so this is why it is that you as aries right this is why it is that you don't why it is that there's a there's a trope of how it is that you aries start a lot of projects but a lot of the times you aries don't be completing it it's because y'all start off sprinting it's like a running it's like running right you start off sprinting out of the gate but what you don't seem to understand is that this is not necessarily a, a, a sprint. This is a, shout out to Nipsey Hussle, a fire sign, Leo. This is a marathon. And when it comes to getting to know somebody, literally that's what it is. It's a marathon in essence. You can't, this is why it is I tell y'all and I, and I advise everybody to start off slow because the faster you go jetting out of the, of the, um, of the, of the, at the opening, right? The first couple of steps, right? You doing the helicopter ride, you doing this, you doing that, you doing whatever. Is the more that, you know,
you come off as fake. And I'm not saying that you Aries are fake. I'm saying it from the perspective of, let me show you what I'm talking about. What I'm, what I'm saying is that the hanged man and the devil card, right? It's showing you to essentially slow down and that you wanna, you wanna create a nice speed for yourself when it comes to getting to know somebody. You don't wanna go so slow to the point where you stop and there's no milestones being reached right and you don't you, you don't want to go that slow right where where it's like you know oh you got to take forever <laughs> but before you know 20 dates 30 dates 100 dates before you even get a kiss right that's too slow you see what i'm saying but you don't want to go so fast to the point where you end up getting sloppy now the person excites you with a couple of things uh, and then like the next thing you know, you get excited and then you get caught up, right? You, you realize that you have skipped over important things that you should have, you should really ask the person in order to get a better understanding of who they are. So the hanged man and the devil right here represents, and this is part of why it is that I'm saying to you that people will use excitement as a means or over abundance of excitement as a means of a buffer, right? When 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 those people are trying to do something, I, I've said this before, relationships should start off as boring, 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 quote unquote, right? People claim that they want excitement right out of the gate. They want excitement. They, they want this, they want that. It's like, it's like, listen, <laughs> listen, the faster you start off, you're gonna have to top that. If you start off with a helicopter ride, look, it look, let me let me tell you something. If you can control the situation, my dear Aries, start off as boring as possible. But in essence, truth be told, you meet how it is that you meet. You date how you date. Because there's an element where, you know, you obviously, if you're sociable, you meet people, right? And you don't necessarily control where you meet people at first you can meet people anywhere just literally living your life going outside your house and walking around and stuff like this you bump into people all the time right so there's a there's an element to it where it's like look you meet where it is that you meet people but at the same time if you have an advantage to pick and choose where it is that you want to hang out nothing too fancy nothing too stuffy nothing too wild you know and when i say wild i mean from let me be more specific nothing too fancy nothing too stuffy nothing too none of that it should be on the calm the calmer it is the better it is okay all right you should be you should be so because the first because the thing is that the first couple of dates is to make sure that the person isn't like out of their mind and isn't like ted bundy you know what i'm saying like that that really is the, the precipice or the or the standard of what the first couple of dates are is to make sure that you're not a, you know what I'm saying? You're not a, you're not a, 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 a Michael Myers. You're not a Ted Bundy, you know? It's actually safe with you and as well as um, you with the other person to be able to where, you know, you, you check each other in public, right? Obviously in the outside world where people could be and probably are watching, right? To see if they're on their best behavior and stuff like this. And this is what a lot of people don't understand because a lot of people tried to get you Aries into like the, the social media gifts and trips and right. And, and this is why the devil pops up. The devil pops up, popped up in this reading because it's to show you that the more you do that, the more you try to try hard to make the date or the interaction between yourself and another person exciting as possible is the worst of a time you're gonna have. Because number one, you overthink it. Number two, a lot of people are out here not very appreciative of it. So because of the fact that they're not very appreciative, what's gonna happen with that? They're gonna have a, a, an issue, right? They're, they're gonna see you like, okay, you're easily, you're able to easily separate it. You, you're able to be easily separated from your money, easily separated from 
who you actually really are because you bend too much to what other people want you to do. Now, I'm not saying that that's what you are. I'm saying that those are some of the problems that you will have, right? Because whenever this I get the devil card, the devil represents the maze, a problem, a complex problem that you have to go through the maze. You like you heard of um you heard of the labyrinth, right? In Greek mythology, that's what it is that I refer to sometimes. What I mean like this is what the devil represents in a lot of a, a lot of times. It rep a lot of, it this is what the devil represents a lot of times, okay? Sometimes it can represent a person, but other times it can represent a particular concept or an idea or a function or, or, or something like that that is giving you problems, issues, and it's complex. There's a, like I said before, new levels, new devils, right? I, I, I talked about this. And what I mean by this for all the new people who are coming on board, shout outs to you, for all the people who've been here for a while, been here long enough. What I mean when I say that new levels, new devils, I mean from the perspective of people tend to have this ideology where it's like, that this is why it is that I say to don't S test people because people tend to have this this ideology of like, I need to S test this person to see what they're gonna do. That's a dub. No, no, why? Because life is automatically gonna give you problems. You don't need to engineer more problems than what originally you're gonna have. When I'm off of this, I do my best to never create more problems for myself whatsoever. Because I already know life is gonna do that for me. So why would I why would I unnecessarily be like, okay, let me go ahead and create unnecessary problems for myself to put myself in a worse position, right? And that's what new levels, new devils mean. It means that as you're doing better in life, right? It basically, it means regardless of whether you're doing better, you're doing worse, regardless of where you are in life, do not create more problems for yourself if it's not necessary. Because then you're just working backwards. You're just, Instead of you actually getting to where it is that you want to be, all you're doing is stagnating or even worse, making it harder on yourself. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of, of energy. And this is what the devil card also represents too. Don't be spending your time and your money and your attention, especially your attention and your time on someone that, you know, calling someone, trying to reach out to someone, you want it more than they do and they barely reach out, barely call you. They don't show any kind of interest. The page of cups in a Hierophant represents, and and the best, one of the, one of the best things that they're going to do for you to get you caught up, one of the, one of the most, powerful things that someone can do when they're running game is get you to be delusional is to get you to fill in the blanks for yourself is to get you to to start daydreaming about how you know one day you'll marry them and all of that type of stuff and if you ask me you got to get over that if you ask me you aries should be dating on a serious note but marriage should all spiritually i'm not talking about putting on the ring and run down to that courthouse that kind of spiritual physical connection that you have with someone that commitment should be something that is on the horizon where it's something that you're actually working towards and it should be understood that both sides are serious about actually working towards a commitment okay so you're actually, so you actually know what it is that you're looking for. This is why it is that I say that you need to have a track record of what's happening. It's not just the person just having a whole bunch of stuff in common and then disappearing. When I when when I speak to somebody and they do that to me, guess what I do? Up oh, dub. What do you what? You 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 show up a year in my life. Hey, you want to hang out? No, <laughs> no. You had your chance. How are you going to show up 12 months after the fact and then be like, hey, let's hang out randomly? Who are you? We never went on. We never hung out. We never kicked it. So I'm supposed to go on a on a hangout session with a with a stranger 
that literally we were set to hang out that that vanished and it and it popped up a year and it popped up a year later get out of here and the thing is that the four of wands is for you aries to remember what you are dating for okay this is why you shouldn't let anybody uh or you should be aware of what's happening at all times so that it does they don't delude you because what i'm seeing here for you is things are complicated right um you really want to be with somebody who's just honest transparent and avoid everyone that isn't going to be uh that isn't going to communicate verbally verbal communication is direct communication uh non-verbal communication is covert communication right so you want to be able to, to observe when someone is communicating overtly and covertly telling you that they that they like you love you whatever the situation is and then showing that to you if they start pulling all types of rabbits out of a hat that's not someone that i would suggest you aries hang out with um because uh some of you again because again a lot of you aries are dating trying to get to know some people and what I'm seeing here is, is that you're kind of frustrated with how not a lot of people are being quite serious with you, right? And they're really just trying to jerk your chain. You know, they're, they're, they're wasting your time. And the Eight of uh, the eight of Cups and the Three of Swords right here is about how, um, but you're not allowing that to discourage you. It, like I said before, it's, it, you know, it's not the most, it's not, the best feeling in the world but you're not going to allow that to discourage you um and that's another thing too that they'll use too right is trying to make it seem like you're trash or you're not necessarily wanted because the truth is and this is why it is that i say that huh, these games are so lame it really is lame um and this is what i've been referring to for a while now that you know, those types of dysfunctional people have someone that they praise in public. And then they also have someone that they praise behind closed doors. And sometimes you could be praised to this person's privacy, right? Where they, uh, where they uh, in private really hold you to a very high regard, but out in public, they dislike you or they try to get you to think that they dislike you and all that stuff. If you ask me, I think that's hyena games and I think that you should essentially stay away from the person. And this is why it is that I say myself that all of that looks maxing, you get, these people are so goofy, they're so lame. These people who get into that stuff, like looks maxing where it's like, it's all about trying to like become as physically attractive as possible or what not to, to like, to get a significant other. And it's like, listen, you don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care what anybody says. You don't go to the gym and start taking your vitamins and start looking after how you eat and getting quality sleep to attract a significant other. You do that for your health. First and foremost, if you're not doing that for your health first, no exceptions, that's lame. That's lame. Cause what are you? Cause what are you going to sleep for? Ooh, I'm a. Ooh, I'm gonna go to sleep because I need my beauty sleep so I can wake up tomorrow and and and, and impress somebody. So there's an emphasis on how you Aries have to learn to take care of yourselves. You know, if you worry your heads up about the way that people treat you out in public, and that's something that I'm learning too. If you worry your heads up about that. <sighs> You know, you areas are going to be feeling like y'all are rejects when like it is that I said before, that ain't even the case. Look, a lot of people like you, but I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. You are looking for someone, the person who's, who is going to be the winner, winner, chicken dinner is a person who isn't in the game. Not really. You know, this is because... Uh, Real talk, I see a lot of people who praise, who praise, they who who get a significant other and praise those people a lot. And then when you hit, and then some, yo, time goes by 
And then it's like, they, they, they're they not together anymore. They're newly single. And it's like, it's like, what happened to all this praising? And it's like, this is, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> this is why, this is the reason why it is that I don't, you know what I'm saying? That I'm I'm opposed to, to excessive, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is why I'm opposed to playing the game because uh, I, I can already tell when a person is praising their partner too much, like unless they really have history and 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 these people really know each other well, like a Nipsey Hussle and a Lauren London, how they you can tell that they actually have taken the time to legitimately get to know each other, ask each other questions, stuff like this. That public praise, that public praise is cat. Because it, it, it speaks to the dichotomy of what I'm talking about to you, Aries, that a lot of people like you, but they they're not showing that to you. And the truth is, if I'm really being serious, I'm at a point where you shouldn't even look for public praise like that. If it happens, great. But as long as they're not slandering your name, cool. But at the you know, and also great as well, right? But at the same time too. Don't even overly look for them to praise you and stuff like this. Because at the end of the day, a lot of that stuff don't really, the, the whole praise, them trying to praise you, a lot of that stuff ain't really going to last long. These are indications that when a person is over praising you, they're showing you that this relationship ain't going to last long. So don't even look for that type of stuff. You just come out here and get to know people and, and, and see what type of time they on and let them see what type of time you on and you just show up like a lion. Forget about, forget about playing games. You will know someone's nature by how they approach you. If a person is, is moving like a hyena, they like play games, like to act like they're stupid, they don't, they're elevated, that elevator doesn't go all the way to the top. They start doing things that kind of put them themselves, let alone you, in a in a disadvantaged state. Because these people are 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 self sabotage. They will literally put themselves in a messed up position just to be able to get you upset, right? And all of this other type of stuff. If they're doing that type of stuff, they're already showing you that they are a loser. That they are a dub. You shouldn't waste your time. So just. For real, pay attention to stuff like that. Let's clarify the um let's clarify the eight of cups. Oh, this is another thing too that I, I realized too. The devil represents some of these people will see if you're willing to sell your soul. And what I mean by that is what you're willing to put up with. You have to be okay, like I said, with follow through. And what I mean when I say follow through is making decisions and sticking to it. Sometimes you got to do that. Even when you're wrong, stick to stick to the decision at the time. And if it turns out to be wrong, then then accept the fact that you are wrong. But don't deviate and move around so much and, and not be so sure so much. Because everyone goes to a time when they're not sure, right? But you shouldn't be so unsure to the point where you jump ship way too much. No. You want to follow through. If something happens to be wrong, learn. If you, if if you can bounce back from this, learn from your mistake. If you, but follow through is something that you're going to need to have sometimes. So to clarify, the Eight of Cups, we have the Justice, the Five of Cups, and then you have the Ace of Cups, the Queen of of uh, Swords, and the Magician. This these five cards to clarify the Eight of Cups are about how you Aries essentially. Um, you know, you have to have a certain amount of self-respect. See, now is the time where you Aries are, your self-respect is being tested, right? Like you're looking, but at the same time, what are you actually willing to give up? If you're, if, you know, you're at a time right now where if you Aries are willing to give up your soul, you're willing to, and what I mean when I say give up your soul, I mean, do anything for a relationship, people are going to treat you like that. Because this is the part of the game that a lot of people don't teach. No matter how much you look, Max, no matter how much game you have, it comes down to, are you willing to sell out for a relationship? This is why dating has become the way that it is. 
because people are trying to stunt by trying to prove they can control people or how many cheeks they can clap. There's not a whole lot of self-respect. When a person is disrespectful to me immediately, at right, and I'm approaching them with with respect, it's a dub for me. I don't care what they I I and they be and the thing is again, they be fumbling behind that because now it's like I'm not really rocking with you ever like that. I'm not not really. Not really like I, okay, you know, I ain't gotta be a jerk. I'll you know, depending on the situation or whatnot, depending on if there's still a, an element of you didn't go too too hard, I might talk to you, but it's always gonna be that element of you squandered, you fumbled, you fumbled, you squandered that forever. Messing around, thinking, oh, I gotta test this person. Stupid. <laughs> so the thing is that the Queen of Swords and the Magician is about how um and once again you know you will see what it is i'm talking about you're going to see it the next test the next step for you is the self-respect element but that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video I'm trying to get to 100,000 subs we're at 14,236 Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.